So someone asked me a great question in one of my most recent live streams. They asked the question, so where exactly do you buy used backpacking gear? Or is it something that you just buy new stuff all the time? And the answer to that question, of course, was no, I definitely buy used backpacking gear. And the question is, where's a good place to buy used backpacking gear from? So let's go ahead and check out the top six places that I think you should go if you want to save some money on backpacking gear. Now that's one of the complaints that usually people have about backpacking and hiking is that sometimes it can be really expensive to get into. And so these six areas will help you save some money and help make sure that you don't break the bank when you're trying to get a good kit together and especially if you're trying to go a little bit more ultralight. The number one one that everyone usually says or knows about is the REI garage sales. That's a great place to pick up some awesome deals. Sometimes, unfortunately, I actually don't buy a whole lot of new stuff. Shoes, yes from REI, I buy actually a lot of their stuff from the REI garage sale, and I wait especially for the clearance, um, when they start clearing some of their items. REI does a nice job of doing usually about two big sales a year, and I just keep an eye on it and see if there's anything that I need or or want. Another great website has to be Gear Trade. I've actually used Gear Trade quite a bit to buy and sell used gear. Um, now this is something just, you always have to be careful, always have to be wary about what exactly you're buying, uh, who you're buying from, and of course there is some protection on there, um, but it's a, it's a good website to kind of keep track of what gear is going out there. Speaking of gear trade, it kind of reminds me a little bit of eBay, um, but that is another place I would check as well. You would be surprised how many uh, pieces of backpacking gear go on eBay for pretty cheap, um, just because sometimes a lot of people aren't looking. <laughs> and so be sure to check out eBay, don't sleep on it at all. That's an easy one. Another great area to buy used gear as well is forums, online forums, online communities. So for example, the one I've used a little bit is hammock forums. If you go on there, um, they usually will have people selling used gear um, on that website. And the thing is you can score some really awesome deals. Let's say someone um, tried to get into hammock camping and they decided it's not really for them because it, it's not for everyone. Um, it's something that just depends on your personal preference. But let's say someone wanted to get into hammock camping and they bought an awesome Dutchware chameleon. And they decided, ah, it's not for me. And they sell it at 20% off of what they just bought it for. And it's practically, there's nothing wrong with it. It's almost brand new. There've been a couple awesome deals on there of quilts, someone shifting into a different system, want to go back to sleeping bags. And so really keep an eye out on forums, especially hammockforums.net uh, is the one that I keep track of. Just see what's on there. I actually sold um, a piece of gear on there fairly recently and the transaction is pretty easy. Um, I try to stay pretty local, um, but honestly, I think it. you make sure you protect yourself with things like PayPal, make sure you do the um, merchant sale, don't use family and friends, just don't do it. Make sure you have some protection on a purchase. Um, and usually those sales go pretty quickly, especially if someone who's selling it on hammock forms has a um, extensive profile, you can kind of check that out, make sure you trust and that's you know important part of these online sales and these online marketplaces. But Hammock Forms is a great resource. My number one most favorite place to buy used gear from is Facebook. There's some awesome groups out there that are dedicated just for hammock hangers and backpacking gear. And people who are on there usually have a pretty good reputation. Sometimes there's some really consistent regulars who are constantly selling. They're, they're probably resellers, of course but they're reselling gear that they've purchased, sometimes for brand new. I mean, for example, to, to give you an example of one of these Facebook groups, I saw a uh, Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer going for $75 and it was new with tags um, most, recently, most recently, that's a couple months ago. And that's a phenomenal deal. Um, I won't tell you exactly how much I paid for mine, <laughs> but it wasn't that low. So let's go ahead and point out some specific groups that you should definitely check out. The first one of my favorite is Backpacking Gear Flea Market. And so you're talking about tens of thousands of eyes looking on your gear if you're, wish, if you're hoping to sell it. But also that means there's a lot of competition for good pieces of gear. Just keep an eye out and see what, what there is. Hammock Hangers Flea Market and Trading Post is another great one if you're looking for hammock specific gear. Um, I've sold a few things on there as well. That's probably my second favorite one. It's not as active as the previous one I just mentioned, the backpacking uh, gear flea market, but it, it is pretty large as well. Beerfoot's Hiking Gear Flea Market is another big one uh, that's on Facebook. That one tends to be a little bit more uh, rigid is what I'd say. There tends to be specific rules for how you can buy and sell 
and it tends to be, I tend not to go there an awful lot um, just because it's not as free flowing, um, at least on the backpacking gear um, flea market, it's moderated, but not over moderated. I feel like Beerfoot's hiking gear flea market is more over moderated. And hey, since you're over on Facebook, you know who you have to check out. Now this person does not have a whole lot of used gear to sell. Well, check out my Facebook page. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a like. It's one way I make sure that I keep in touch with you guys. Check out places I've been, what I'm up to currently, my thoughts about anything. It's also another way I'm trying to make sure I keep track of letting you guys know when I have these live streams. Usually I have it every other Wednesday, um, about nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time, but I'll let you know if I'm gonna have it or not, usually a couple hours before on my Facebook page as well as on um, my Twitter feed. So thanks so much for watching guys. Hopefully this was helpful to you and you saved a ton of money um, because there are some really smoking deals out there for quality gear and you can get some really high-end stuff without breaking the bank. Thanks for watching guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.